Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to TM Square where we talk about a lot on ISTQB certifications. It's been some time and we are looking forward to have some quick revisions being considered to be created into a playlist to help you build a better understanding to write your next examination. Of course, there is a change in the syllabus in uh, test analyst as well turning up into a new playlist altogether. However, the examination in India is not yet available. So if you're writing in most of the countries, the examination on 4.0 at this point of time when I'm creating this playlist is not yet available. But of course, after down the line next quarter, you would have certifications being available. So you are free to get started and write the examination on that. Meanwhile, you need to check with your board. Are they offering you 4.0 or 3.1? So if it is so, then you need to still go back to the old playlist, which I have, which I will tag it at the end of this particular tutorial so that you can refer them. But in this tutorial, we're just doing a quick introduction comparison between the old version and the new version that what has changed. In fact, there are some great changes, I would say, in terms of uh, some of the chapters like test techniques and the other chapters are just redefined but however does include the things which we had in the older version so to keep it very to the point let's do a side by side comparison of all the content between 3.1 and 4.0 which will also let you know that is that a good time for going ahead with uh, 3.1 at this point of time and what new would be happening in 4.0 so if in case you want you can even delay your certification and then write for 4.0 because it might have some catchy things for you to make a decision to write it right away or maybe after three months of time right so to get started very first thing of course there are some drastic changes which has happened in the syllabus and right here if you see the very first chapter we are comparing which is the test analyst role in the test process if you see the 3.1 had a lot of topics in fact the topics are still there in 4.0 but in a different fashion altogether. For example, the testing in SDLC remains the same. Introduction is gone because in test uh, ISTQB foundation syllabus, we do cover them already. We understand what test process is, how it is dependent on the context and what are the various factors which influence it. So we know what the test analyst is all going to do in the test process. However, here we will be more talking about the software development lifecycle, how the test testing gets organized in that. Whereas the four things which we see here in the 3.1, that is the test analysis, test design, implementation, and execution are still there as a part of the second topic of 4.0, that is involvement in the test activities. But it's just being called as a major topic. Whereas the last one is task related to work product, which is what kind of documentation do we create? So if you just quickly compare these two topics, you understand that the topics which were separately there is now being put into a major topic and being covered there. And of course, the work products are also being discussed as a part of it. So there are no major changes, I would say, as I have been through the syllabus, uh, I would just say that the way it is supposed to be discussed has been revised and certainly would talk more from the perspective of what is the latest trends in terms of documentation, in terms of the agile methodology and what other test analysts should be doing at what point of time. Now quickly to compare the next chapter also, of course, the chapter two is gonna talk about the risk-based testing. If you see, uh, we had the three major phases in our scope in 3.1.2, which pretty much remains the same here as well, okay? It's just that the risk analysis and risk control now becomes two major chapters or two major topics where analysis includes identification and assessment and control includes mitigation and monitoring. And that is where uh, the content pretty much remains the same. However, this still remains the smallest chapter of the syllabus. So you don't have to worry about this chapter. It's going to be just hardly uh, three to four pages, but uh, going to have a lot of information because many fundamental things have been already covered in foundation. So here we will not be repeating that. Rather, we'll be talking more about what is the task of test analyst when it comes to risk-based testing. Similarly, let's look on the next one. The next chapter we have is chapter three. And this is the most critical chapter, okay? In fact, you would be having the most major share in the examination from this chapter with maximum number of questions. So if you see, uh, we do have a very, very a drastic change in this to, uh, this chapter for the uh, 3.1 and 4.0. So if you see, we got the black box testing, experience-based testing as two major categories in the old version. 
But in the new version, we do have database test techniques, behavior based test techniques, rule based test techniques, experience based techniques, and then comparing again that how to apply the best appropriate test technique. Now, if I have to quickly deep dive into these, I would like to add further that what exactly the techniques would be. So we don't have repetition of equivalence, partition, boundary value analysis here because in the foundation level we have already covered, but in the older version of syllabus, we did have this again. So given that foundation has completed all the discussions related to EP and BVA, in test analysis, you will not have it any longer. Now, what are you going to have is of course, you're gonna have database where we'll be covering new techniques like domain testing and random testing, whereas combinatorial is gonna be the old one itself, okay? And then uh, as a part of behavior-based techniques, you will have uh, state transition and scenario-based with plus one more, which will be CRUD testing, which will take you through the API part of the discussion and also help you understand that what API testing is all about, right? And the third segment, of course, rule-based uh, test technique would cover decision table testing and introducing a technique called as metamorphic testing. On a high level, metamorphic testing is more about creating additional test cases from a known test case. So it's gonna be K3 for sure, and uh, you're gonna have something new to understand and worry about. Okay, so move on next, of course, uh, the experience-based testing would still have the same thing, that is understanding what is just test charter when we use exploratory sessions, then checklist-based testing for experience testers, and then crowd testing is gonna be a new thing which would be added here, which is the latest trend and would be coming as a part of this technique. So put together, we have different techniques being covered all together, 12 of them. And some of these are like straight transition, decision table, uh, experience-based testing like exploratory and checklist are gonna be repeated from the foundation. However, with new flavor, advanced level, okay? But all of the techniques like CRUD, domain, uh, combinatorial, these things are gonna be something new, uh, which you would like to love to understand. Okay, so that's the chapter three is gonna have some interesting things for you. Let's move on to chapter four, where we were talking about the quality characteristics. And chapter four certainly had just one major topic. However, it covered everything inside that. Uh, for example, we discussed on uh, the major things from usability, accessibility, interoperability, functional suitability, and portability. These were the major topics what we covered in the uh, older syllabus. In the new one, we still have the same, but being blended with some new flavors or new topics. For example, we have usability, then we do have flexibility testing and compatibility testing. However, this is gonna be a non-functional chapter, but would have a lot of things for you to cover, including functional testing as well. So in this, it's just not that it is uh, only the usability, flexibility, and compatibility. Functional testing would have the same thing if you deep dive into this. So even if you further uh, kind of like look into the detailed syllabus, you would understand various types of usability here. Then in flexibility, you will understand more about the uh, adaptability, scalability, installability, replaceability, etc. And uh, in compatibility, you would cover interoperability testing and coexistence. So all I would say is portability is still there with in form of installability, adaptability, and replaceability. Uh, compatibility was not there, but interoperability is more the part of it. We had it in the syllabus, but coexistence was in the TTA, technical test analyst. So now it is a part of test analyst as well. And that's where you're gonna have almost similar topics being covered here. Nothing new, nothing old, it's just that is the old piece of product in the new box, okay? The language is gonna be a little different. The way they are explaining is gonna be different, but yet effective for someone to understand. Now let's quickly move on to the next chapter. And the next chapter is, was supposed to be very small. If you see here, the chapter five was only about the checklist or use of checklist in the older syllabus. So we basically had two topics here. What are checklist? How checklist can be leveraged in the organization to conduct reviews? And uh, we also indeed have the examples for uh, the requirement review or user story review. But if you look at the new syllabus, in the new syllabus, we have things like defect prevention practices or you know, supporting phase containment. Okay, so this is gonna be the new chapter. So it is not at all including the checklist part. So it's more of like it is replaced with a new chapter altogether. And we call it as software defect prevention. So here we will be talking about defect prevention practices, supporting phase containment. That means how we can 
you know, find the defect in the same phase, mitigation, uh, mitigating the reoccurrence of the defects. So if you basically deep dive into this, it's more going to be talking about the review itself, but more from the practices and understanding of those things which can help us to detect defects earlier in the life cycle rather than later in the life cycle. So that is where the chapter five would be slightly more elaborating than that of the previous. I'm gonna add some more techniques, more activities, which would help us to prevent defects rather than just talking about checklists being used in the review process. Finally, moving on to the last chapter, of course, which is only applicable to the older version, as you can see here. So it was there about the test tools, but if you did notice, the test tool has been moved as a topic in the chapter one. So in 4.0, we don't have a sixth chapter at all. Okay, so we only have five chapters. And the last chapter was more about automation tools, the type of tools, how do we create different frameworks. So those things have been moved as a last topic of the chapter one itself. So we don't have a sixth chapter in the new syllabus. So I would say altogether, you have a lot of renovation in the chapter three, which is the test technique. Okay, all other top chapters pretty much remain the same. Hardly some minor changes, but the major changes in chapter three, and they have just blended chapter six, which was a small chapter again, within the chapter one itself. So you don't have a separate chapter for tools. So just make you feel that you only have five chapters to prepare, but the content pretty much remains the same. So that was to help you understand that what's new in 4.0. So not anything much, but yet a lot of new techniques. So if in case you would like to make this decision that I would like to write the examination on 4.0 and stay up to date, then give some time, okay? Because in India and many other countries, the examination on 4.0 are yet to be rolled out. In case you would like to write examination very soon, then second thing is you can reach out to bodies like ISQI or Brightest and they can certainly help you with that, right? So they are currently having the examinations on 4.0 and they can help you with that as well. So altogether, that's pretty much what I had. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning. Thank you.